Hey, Marcus, you know, you, you talk so much about the energy of this group, the resiliency of this group. So I want to start by asking a couple of questions about your teammates first. You know, for you to, to see a kid like Khalil Lee come up and, and get his first big league hit in that spot, you know, what are you thinking watching that? Yeah, can you guys hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah. You're just... yeah. Did okay. you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man, it's awesome. It's awesome when you can get um, that production, especially from the rookie guys. Um, obviously, Khalil has been struggling a bit. So to see him come up and get a huge knock, that hopefully that gets his momentum going. He's an extremely talented young guy. I'm sure you guys have seen him make incredible plays out in the outfield. Um, any 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 rookie is going to press when they come up at the dish. So it's awesome to see him um, contribute. And um, Hager, too, man, that's awesome to see. He, he's been someone who's grinded out so many years in the minor leagues to see him get up to the big leagues. And um, to see him get a knock, man, we're all so, so happy for him. We just had like a little party in there for both those guys. So um, it's a great team we have, man. I, I love all the guys we have. It's, it's a great camaraderie. Now, I know, you know, for you, whenever we talk to you after a game, you, you speak about how it's not so much about how your stuff feels, this and that. It's, it's just about going out there and competing. So, again, from a teammate's perspective to watch – what you know, May, Familia, Diaz, uh, Smith did in in spots like that in trouble, uh, the the level of compete. I, I guess what were your thoughts on on what they were able to do there? Yeah, I think we have. I, I truly think we have one of the best staffs and best bullpens in all of baseball. You know what I mean? Especially once we get healthy, once we get everybody back. But May, Castro, like you said, Diaz, Loopy, uh, Barnes. The the pen has been incredible. The pen has been incredible. We've got unbelievable contributions from those guys every single time they come out. Those guys have pitched back-to-back -back days and have been dominant. Um, they've been asked to do a lot, and they, they've showed up every single time. So every single starter, I can tell you, has no problem handing the ball off to the bullpen back there because we know those guys are, are nasty, and they're, and they're capable of coming down and sh shutting the game down. And then what about for you tonight? You know, obviously, a, a nice bounce back. It looked like you were really relying on that changeup quite a bit. Was that uh, you know, a game plan thing, or did you have a really good feel for that pitch tonight? Yeah, I didn't feel great, honestly, going into the game. Um, still kind of battling a few things with my motion and my mechanics. But, yeah, I just compete. It was just something that I went into the game. I didn't have that great of a feel for my sinker. Um, so we kind of went to the changeup, and it, it played really well uh, today. So that's a pitch that I, I sometimes don't even throw at all in games, and I think I threw over 20 of them today. So uh, if I could get that weapon going and I could get my sinker back to where it was, plus my slider, um, I, can be, I can be pretty competitive against anybody. So it's a long year. Um, just looking to keep the body and mind healthy uh, each and every start. Thanks. Isha Thozar, you're up next. Hey, Marcus, what did you guys kind of do to celebrate uh, Hager and Lee's first hits? Uh, we can't say, but we definitely gave those guys a um, proper welcome to the big leagues. So like I said, man, we have a great camaraderie here. Everyone's Everyone wants the best for each and every guy in that clubhouse. And when we win, we have fun. So we, we it's kind of that element to look forward to after games is to kind of have a nice little vibe afterwards so um, we can keep winning. Thanks. Next question is from Justin Toscano. Hey, Marcus, if you guys are winning games with kind of some unconventional parts and some different guys, including rookies, how dangerous can you be when, when people start to return? Yeah, just like you said, um, we're definitely looking forward to getting those guys back and I think this group of guys know what we're capable of over the course of the season. It's just a matter of, like you said, um, there's going to be adversity throughout the year. So you have to do your best to, to battle that and to, and to win, because like I said earlier in my, in my last press conference, no one's going to feel sorry for us regardless of the injuries. Um, so we got to battle until we get those guys back. And hopefully when they get back, we, we roll after that. Cool. Thank you. Go ahead, Ken. Hey, Marcus, uh, did you expect to get lifted there in the seventh after the leadoff ball? Um, I never expect to get lifted, to be honest. I, I always want to be in the game, but that's my manager. Um, I don't refute that, but, yeah, I always want the ball. I, I, I never want to come out of the games. I always feel like um, I can get a double play or ground ball in those situations, but um, I've never questioned our manager, and he made the move, and we got the W. So, I, in the end, that, that's all that matters. Thanks. 